Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Today we are beginning our big move to the new base. Um, so the spawners plugin hasn't really been fixed yet, so we're going to keep on AFKing at this Iron Golem farm. So we're not going to fully, fully, fully move until maybe a couple of days from now. But we're going to start moving all the, the majority of our stuff already. Um, Insanity and Big Daddy Mark have already moved a majority of their vaults over. So that, that was probably the hardest part. And uh, yeah, I'm recording this solo right now. It's about, I think, um, what time is it? It's almost, it's like Sunday night right now when I'm recording. And um, we're basically, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm really just over talking. Um, I'm not, I'm not actually recording on camera. Like, oh, wow, wow what the heck is this? I'm not recording on camera. I am uh, kind of just like over talking what I'm seeing and uh, sort of like just showing you guys what we did this morning. And basically what we did was we started moving our new base and um, what we wanted to do was basically make a brand new base and then put up almost the same amount of defenses but change things up a little bit so we're gonna i'm gonna start moving on in this episode at least we're gonna start moving all of our tools as you guys can see here our main our main 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 little area here that we have for stuff so we're gonna we're gonna start moving everything over one by one slowly and uh, yeah, basically, so this episode's basically going to show you where my new uh, faction home is. Insanities and uh, Big Daddy Mark's vaults are down below there. I can't really show you guys because I don't want to show you exactly what defense defenses we have for our actual vault. But uh, for our inside area here, we're probably going to have about two or three layers of obsidian. About the same thing as before. We'll have a, a couple more uh, different techniques in order to stop the base glitching, of course. So I'm not going to show all that on camera because I don't want you guys to know exactly what I have as my defenses. But we're just going to start off the main area here, as you guys can see me in the camera. So, like, once again, I'm kind of just talking over what I am doing. I'm not... I'm not really uh, doing it live right now, but basically, as you guys can see on the camera, I'm marking out uh, my, what's it called, my storage area. Like, I'm basically making the same exact design as I had previously, and um, I think I forgot a home storage. I forgot a pickaxe, so I'm going to have to grab a pickaxe so I can uh, mine up that stuff really quickly because I forgot to bring one. But yeah, we're just going to, I'm going to move over my main home storage area here. As, as again, Insanity has already moved parts of his vault. I'm pretty sure, has he even taken it down yet? Let me take a quick peek. I'm not really sure. So we're going to head on up here. And it looks like he hasn't actually removed it from here yet, but a majority of his stuff isn't even in there anymore. He wants his own personal bedrock vault. So, I mean, I said, go ahead, do whatever you want, man. So, but what are we, what we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to basically just move um, faction, our, our little stor storage area. Why is it lagging? We're going to move our little storage area in order so that we could like start actually recording from this new base. So, as you guys can see here, I'm kind of going to just start marking it out. Um, so there's going to be a wall here and then the chests, the chests have to be like this. I think I want three high chests, like the same as before. I need a, I need like a normal building block that I can break easily. All right, let's do that. That's perfect. And then finish that off right there. There's one chest area. Do, 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 talk dirty to me. No, no, no. That's such a good song, guys. It's just such a great song. If you guys, if you guys don't know what that song is, you need to. You haven't lived. So the server is lagging a little bit, but yes, we're gonna be basically just moving our main storage area into this new facility here. As you guys can see, this space is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot smaller than our previous one. But we're gonna kind of try to build it about the same, the same way, the same techniques. So the, the like the amount of. Uh, the amount of resources that you'd actually have to waste to get inside is still going to be around the same or even maybe even more depending on exactly what we want to do to the outside. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually show on camera of us building because that is that does get, get quite boring as you guys can see here just like placing blocks over and over and over and over again. It's just kind of boring. So here's the corner. I actually want to mark this out before I start marking that and then we could finish this later tonight when insanity gets on. As you guys can see, there's a lot of people on right now, so that's why it's lagging a little bit. But let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, there's 20. I I'm only going to want this main room to be about 20 high, so I'll have enough room for like two massive iron golem farms maybe in this corner and one in this corner somewhere over here. And then so we'll have enough room to maneuver around. Like we're not going to have a big massive sanctum base with the intricate spiral staircases and all of that stuff, but we're going to try. I mean, we're going to try to at least get as much stuff in here as we can we're probably gonna have i didn't even have time to build a proper blaze spawner in my other one i just never got around to recording it so we're probably gonna have to fit in like a like one of those massive blaze spawners that i had in the very first faction base before we moved the previous time so like one of the blaze spawners with maybe like 10 spawners in it something like that i don't know i just don't want our actual base to be too laggy so i'm gonna try to cut down a little bit on the spawners Ooh, there's a little I forgot to clear that little pathway over. Oh, maybe somebody's found our base already. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, that'd be bad. But um, yeah, so I've claimed this base for a little bit now, so it's it's not it's not it's likely that somebody's found it. They're just they just haven't. I'm not even sure if anybody has set homes in here yet, but hopefully not. We'll hope for the best, and we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, how do I want this? Do I want this chest to be right here then? Yeah, that works. So the here, bam, 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 and bam bam so it's basically as you guys can see the same exact layout as uh, our old home storage and i'm just going to be moving everything here into there i'm not even sure if i'm going to water protect it yet i i trust my base designs as of right now so if it gets raided then it gets raided no big deals right i mean we're i i love i love 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 like one of my favorite parts of factions is building new bases so this is probably what i'm going to be doing all of today as i said i was recording this on sunday morning so all of sunday and a uh, majority you guys probably are wondering why i didn't live stream all weekend is because I am building my, my new base like I don't want to be on camera while I'm building it or I don't want to be live streaming because people will just be actively trying to find where the base is because I mean obviously it's going to be in the end but um, we're going to try to we're going to try to figure out a way to, in order to, uh, to make it even harder to raid even though we are in the end hopefully I don't fall I haven't died yet but uh, chances are I might die once or twice we'll see I haven't I don't really know yet what we're uh where we're planning on building but I, I really want to get this like main outside one or two layers done and then after the main outside one or two layers I want to start moving my stuff in so yeah I just wanted to quickly update you guys on what we were planning to do with the sanctum base as I said in my other previous like I think three episodes ago we are starting to move everything it's just very very slow because obviously it takes time to build a perfect base that's almost unraidable so um, bear with us a little bit guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. I mean you guys can kind of get the idea of how to build um, a base that's very very hard to oh I don't want to peek over because I'll show you guys insanity's vault over there but it's really really easy to make a base that's pretty easy or pretty hard to break into pretty easy to defend and as long as you and your like your faction are very organized about things it's really it's not too bad it's like if you guys take the time and spend the time to actually build a very very strong base it's it's gonna be a long time before uh, before people actually um, uh, why why are the people messaging me see this is what I hate about like I don't know just having the chat open let me let me remove this so uh, you guys aren't bothered by that uh, multiplayer opacity off all right so there you guys can't see chat anymore uh, yeah a lot of people do start spamming me now because they know I record on here and I'm an admin on here so they try to they try to like try to trick me sometimes they'll be like oh I'm from planet minecraft um, let me get up on the server so I can review it so it's like it's like stupid little tricks like that that just kind of I don't know it just annoys me for the most part but I, I, I tend to ignore most of it unless it's like over the edge or something but uh yeah this is basically what I'm gonna be doing as I said I'm gonna have like maybe a triple or like a two or three room iron golem spawner room here and then with like maybe a hundred a hundred forty four golems inside each one uh, I haven't really decided yet uh, me and the entire faction have to still talk about it like we haven't had a chance to actually get together and decide how big um, are how big we want the farms to be because I mean it does if you have a massive farm like all in the same vicinity it's really it's really hard or well it's not really hard but I mean it's it's simple for you to um, to forget about that people it makes people lag sometimes when you have so many spawners can I do slash workbench yes I can 
Make make more chests here, and then this should be enough chests. And then let's see, finish these chests here. Da 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 da. Oh my god, I messed up on that. Just grab those back, put them back in here. Bam. 24 chests, get another 32, and then 40. All right, 40 more chests to mess around with. Get over here, and bam. Oh, what the heck, I forgot to shift. Bam, bam. All right, now I gotta jump on top. Oh, I should have done that earlier, whatever. All right, let me get it. Let me get this, bam, bam. All right, there we go, there's our main chest. Oh, I, I need one more, I miscounted that. One, two. One, two. If you guys hear voices in the background, it's because my parent, my, my family has some people over right now, and I'm recording before I go hang out with them. So uh, excuse the noise in the background. If there if there is a lot of noise, I'm not really sure how how well my mic picks up uh, the guests that are over here right now. But anyways, let us continue. We're gonna basically just. As you guys can see here, the same exact layout that I've been doing for almost every single base that I've had. And I, I want to just water these chests right before I end this episode and maybe start moving some stuff. Uh, warp shop. Let me go to warp shop and let me buy. What's up, cool2264? Uh, let me buy a couple of water. Actually, let's do ice. I think ice would be a lot better. All right, slash back. Can I break ice in another? And then without it like spilling over everywhere. All right, let's block off this area here like we did before. And then let's block it off here for right now. I mean, we'll obviously change these into slabs later. I just haven't done so. Or I'm not, do oh my gosh, I misplaced these two. Uh, we're gonna obviously put half slabs, try to make everything a lot more beautiful. We're, I just want a nice small functioning base. Like the very first Sanctum base, well not Sanctum, it used to be Foursome on, um, on faction screen before we started to add a couple of our friends just so we could have more fun with people but anyways here we go it looks like we've got everything all set oops excuse me set up and oh i use freaking obsidian right there i gotta mind that anyways uh water there that should be good water there why didn't that water not place is that lagging no it's not all right ice ice Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Hopefully this breaks into... Why is this ice not breaking? There it is. There is the ice I'm, I know and love. All right, we're going to have to place water, obviously, in the middle right there. But we could do that. So I just want to water these chests so in case somebody does find my base before, um, before I fully have my defenses up, they can actually creep egg these because, as you guys can see... It's very hard to creep or egg chests that are in water, so they'll have to either they'll have to either uh, wither this or they'll have to figure out a way to get around this. Maybe a TNT cannon shot really really far will work for this base. But there we go, we got our water chests in. Let me remove this. This looks really really tacky. What the heck? And I want those to be slabs once again. Once I have everything nice and settled, and let's go to home storage and let's move a couple of our chests right now on camera right before I end this episode. And let's move our tools chest first. Let's just grab everything here. Home. Or I could do slash back. So one, two over. Good. The all these freaking ones have the same exact enchants on it. Slash back. I love this back command. If you guys haven't already, take a take a time to like donate to the server. I think the diamond donators, or maybe even the gold donators, they get slash back, and it just helps with traveling like so much. Like, I don't I don't think about it as much. Ooh, a gift from. Big butt Betty. Ooh, that's a sharpness five axe. Let me take that. That's probably insanities because it was in the thing. He probably just forgot about it. But whatever. I'm taking it right now. Uh, put these in here. Slash back. I can actually put that in my vault before insanity tries to take it. Let me go into my vault. Here's D Fields Demoter. Somebody gave me this one, and then I, I made this one, and then a gift from Big Butt Betty. I wonder whose axe that was. I don't remember. And then I got D-Field's axe hammer. I've, I've made a couple of sharp five axes in my lifetime, guys, as you guys can see. Uh, let me grab more axes here. Oh, uh, these I love my god axe chest. I just love how I keep everything just organized. Not, everything is nice and organized on, um, what's it called, in my faction base. So I, I love just being able to find everything so easily. So set home, new base. So what I want to do actually is I want to put water right between where this one is. So hold on, let me go one, two, three. I need to put a thing here, and then I need to put a water here, 
There you go. And that fills up that. You guys see how there's like a gap here? It fills up that gap. It just makes everything look nice and neat. I don't know. In my opinion, I like when everything is nice and neat. Come on, obsidian. Go away. So put an ice here again and then break it. And that should break into water. See? Now you got a nice even stream. That's how you guys even out these little weird, weird little indentations. So I'll probably do that for the rest of them after after this recording and uh we'll start moving everything on the home storage show you a lot of people were like oh my gosh i want to raid that storage right there so badly because there's so many good tools and whatnot in there so uh if you guys do happen to do it there is a lot to loot when it comes to uh, raiding my base but obviously the hard part is uh trying to get to the base um i mean i've given away these cords to a couple of our closest faction allies so uh they'll be able to defend it if um i'm offline at the time and uh, let's go home storage. And then I can set my new home here later. But uh, there we go. I finished with that chest. I can start moving some of these shovels over. Slash back. A lot of you, all of these shovels, I'm pretty sure a majority of these shovels I've gotten from raids. So like the that god raid that I had like a couple weeks. I think it was like a week ago actually. That god raid, I just filled up. I fill up so many of these chests for freaking tools and stuff. Now my family is freaking blasting music. So excuse the background noise, guys. If that is very annoying to you, I I apologize for my family's loud music antics. Holy crap. What the heck are they listening to right now? Oh my god. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing with this new base. I don't want to show you every single defense we're going to have because that'll just make it that much more easier for people to raid us. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episodes. Um, I might switch from daily factions to maybe every other day factions as my school bring or my school spring break is over. And I'm not really sure how busy I'm going to be, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best, guys, to keep the daily uploads going and flowing for factions because you guys... You guys just love factions, but if you guys want daily uploads for factions, once again, we always need your help, guys, because obviously only me and Insanity can only find so many raids, and I've got a couple lined, no, I think I have one lined up for Monday night when I get back home from school. Hopefully, that's not raided, and uh, yeah, we'll try to continue, I, I, I mean, I'll try my best to continue uh, every, every day uploads for... Uh, for freaking uh, factions guys but obviously I can only do so much but I'll try my best guys I'll always try my best for all of my fans so yeah once again this is D field hopefully you guys are enjoying the series I'm almost at a hundred episodes and uh, if you guys have any ideas on what I should do for the hundredth episode maybe something like what uh, Russia does and like organize a big PvP fight like a free-for-all fight somewhere I'm not sure yet I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do for my hundredth I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do anything special for my 100th episode but thank you guys for sticking around for almost 100 episodes of factions let's play and we're gonna keep going strong factions will and always will be my most favorite uh game type to play and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode once again make sure you guys like comment and subscribe you guys have been killing the subscribes lately you guys have been killing the likes lately and if you guys can help me reach 150 likes on this video I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. This is D Field, and we will see you guys later.